All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be ripping up some ground <clears throat> and planting some seeds, so uh, stick with us. Starting with this guy right here, only goes to right there to that brim. And just up over that hill there, we're gonna rip all this up. I got that tree stand sitting right up here, so rip it up, put it down in corn, and go from there and head to the next one. So let's get her done. Got this big one all ripped up. Got the grass all mulched up as good as I can get it. It's gonna be good enough. And uh, now it's time to go get the four wheeler, the cedar, and the seed. Let's get this down before it rains. So let's get her done. trips of coming back and forth to the farm of forgetting crap I think we're finally ready got the cedar wheeler and all the corn and beans so uh, let's just jump right into it here we're gonna do kind of like we did the same last year do a all the way around the edges of the corn hit in the beans here with the middle and plant all the rest of that about half of it all in corn down there on that side. So that panned out pretty good last year. Hopefully it'll pan out pretty good again this year. I think I might roll the beans this year too. Not sure on that, but I am going to broadcast the beans here on this end of the corn um, just to give them more food for in the winter time. Just trying to hurry up here because it looks like we have some rain coming. All right, everything's just good. Let's get going. So I'm up here, I just making my first pass and came across a shed. It's gotta be a match to the other one because it looks identical to the other side. I bet you damn well it is. If I can find a picture or a video of it, I'll put a glimpse of it in there real quick. But yeah, that's definitely a match of one of them guys. I believe it was the one where I found that group of them down right over here. But uh, we're gonna keep going real quick before we get rained on, so stay with us, y'all. All right, y'all, just got done planting the uh, big plot back over the hill here. Ripping this one up. No, well, we already got it ripped up, but uh, we're gonna rip through here and plant some corn in the smaller one here. I have really, really good luck here. So we're gonna plant this all in corn and then come back in, broad, broadcast uh, beans right into the corn. 
and that always pays off really, really good. So let's get cracking. <laughs> All right, so just pulled up to the small one here. Uh, we're going to broadcast uh, the beans right into the corn here, too. Oh, and I, I'm not going to overpower it. I'm just going to I'm just going to put some in there just to fill it up, too, in the rows there. Uh, I'll show you after I get done spreading them here. It's, it's not going to be thick like I broadcasted on the other one there, just in that open spot. But uh, I'll show you what I mean here after I get done. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. Just, you know, a couple here, a couple there. Just to put more food within a food. And this has always uh, worked out really well. Now, if I was to broadcast the beans just by themselves, I pretty much had these damn things stacked right on top of each other. Maybe not quite that thick, but pretty thick. <clears throat> But since we've got corn growing in here, um, the thinner the better on the beans. I do like to mix the two. Um, just gives them a little bit more variety. Get them green uh, leaves on the beans for the early season and bean pods and the corn for late. Works out pretty good. All right, let's head her back over to the other plot here real quick. I'll just come up to the other plot here where I broadcasted out these beans over here just to show you kind of what the, how much population here, like, not like that. So it's you know, pretty close. Some will grow and some won't. Birds will pick up the rest, so I kind of want to Put it on a little heavier, but it'll look good. So I'll give you guys an update in a couple of weeks and let you know how they're doing. <clears throat> and I left this year from this tree all the way down from here open. I, I did it right here last year with corn, but I decided to leave that whole area open right there so I've got one two three four four more plots to do on just this farm but I wanted to get the big one done up here right away and I'll show you guys how I do them small micro ones too as well but that'll be on a different video oh and I left from the blind about from right here from the blind all the way over to the bales open so i'm gonna plant some radishes in here like i did last year and it uh, seemed like they loved that gonna take a handful of corn here and just sprinkle around the edge of my blind because last year i planted all the way around it it's more of a pain in the ass than anything. Just to help camouflage it in. And then in the areas where it grows up in front of the windows, I can cut that off. And then last year it worked. That worked out really good as well. Just like that. Then once that corn grows up, I'll just cut out those spots in the windows where I gotta see and that's that. Well, that'll be it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna be tearing up uh, the ones in the bottoms. I'll have to get the four wheeler disc for that because I can't get the, the tractor down to that one. And we're gonna plant those in corn as well, mixture with some beans, and then maybe in the middle of it, just have a probably 20 by 20 yard open area with some greens of some sort in the middle of it and I'll show you guys how I do all that and uh, go from there and 
Not really sure what I'm going to do with the rest of them. Probably some corn. And some radishes. In my next video, I'm going to go down the bottoms over here. I'll show you guys that new clover plot that I bulldozed last year and show you how that's doing. It's coming up really good this year. So that'll be it for this video. Oh, uh, talk to you guys about the giveaway I'm doing. Once we hit a thousand, um, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, either on YouTube or Instagram. Probably do it on YouTube. But um, if you guys haven't, go check out my Instagram because I, I post on there quite a bit. But yeah, we're gonna be doing a, uh, a giveaway. Once we hit a thousand, I believe I've got. Uh, it's gonna be like a trail camera, some batteries. SD card and some broadheads is probably what I'm giving away. So, if you guys haven't done so, make sure you subscribe so you can uh, stay stay updated on those. So, if you guys like the video, give her a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching, y'all.